Hey, my G's, and welcome to G Free with Friends and Family. What's up with the dark glasses, you might ask? <clears throat> well, I look like a raccoon. I've been up since midnight, and um, I can't go to sleep right now because I have to take care of some business with the post office. I don't know how long I'm going to be in there, so I figured I'd put something in my stomach <clears throat> so I won't starve in case these people have me arguing with them all morning mm. and i'm eating overnight oats again because i love it this time i put some cranberry sauce in it that's what i had and since i have to go out i'm also gonna go to the, excuse me getting a little comfortable uh, I'm also going to go to the supermarket and um, get some provisions. <laughs> some more fruit and stuff to go in my oats. Um, some cocoa so I can make chocolate things. Some fish. Just a bunch of stuff. I have an idea about what foods I want to make and desserts and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Somebody just sent me this morning um, a really nice dessert that I'm going to make. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I think you're going to like it and it's really easy. And again, it's just a twist on something that people normally make that's more complicated. I like to do things easy. So. Mm. Yeah, I like to get the um, cranberry sauce with the whole berries in it. In it. See that? My kids like the jelly kind. And I like the jelly kind too, but I love the berries because they burst in your mouth and you get that little thing of tartness in there. And that's what I like about cranberries. I like the tartness. Mm. I like cranberry muffins and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Then I have to go to the bank. So it's the bank, the supermarket. And I have to pick up some more cleaning supplies. And I'm not going to get those from the supermarket because they're usually more expensive there. Unless they're having a sale. You know. But I'm anxious to go to the fish market. I have so much anxiety about going out and the fact that I have to go to all these different places. It's really creeping me out, but these are the types of things that you can't call somebody to do for you. Like, you know, there's no delivery service to take care of your banking or, you know, just stuff like that. And the post office, and nobody's going to go argue with the people at the post office for you. Well, make sure to get some Lysol. Take a nice hot shower when I get back. Oh, I'm going to be so freaked out. <laughs> oh, well. Hopefully, I'll survive. Mm. Yeah. I thought that I did a video where I actually showed me making overnight oats. But a lot of people don't know what they are. They're cold. There's no cooking involved. 
you throw in the oats. You can add water or milk, whatever you prefer. You put sweetener, whatever kind of sweetener you want to use. Some people use maple syrup, some people use white sugar, some people use honey. I like to use honey. Um, and then you put however you want to flavor it. If you want to flavor it with fruit, if you want to flavor it with cocoa, if you want to flavor it with, I don't know, whatever, but something sweet. And then you put it in the refrigerator overnight, which is where you get the name from. Or if you have quick oats, you can just put it in for a couple of hours. And the liquid that you put in, either the water or the milk, it absorbs into the oats and softens them. And that's why you don't need to cook them. Take it straight out of the refrigerator and you eat it. It's cold and it tastes like some sort of dessert, which I love because I'm grown and I can do whatever I want. If I want to have dessert for breakfast, I can do that. If I want to have dessert for dinner, lunch, you know, I can do that. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> That's something that my son used to say. He was a baby. And my oldest daughter used to try to boss him around and tell him what to do, how to do it, whatever. And he would get so frustrated with her sometimes. And the only thing that he could think is to scream at her at the top of his lungs. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> that was the funniest thing. Because it always seemed to shock her. She could never tell when he had gotten to that boiling point. <laughs> and she'd just be standing there with her mouth hanging open. <laughs> Hmm. So funny. Um, the funny thing is, is that he really did know how to do a lot of things for himself. He was very good with his hands. His fine motor skills developed early on. And, yeah, he could do things. <laughs> hmm. And the thing about him... Once he learned how to do something, he didn't want anybody doing it for him. Except when he got to be older and he came to cooking. My son is a good cook. <laughs> All my kids can cook. They um, basically had to teach themselves because I wouldn't let them in the kitchen with me. I don't like people. I don't like to be in the kitchen with people. Um, but you know they'd watch me and he watched me a lot and no I did used to let him help me when he was little because he was the only one that didn't go to preschool he didn't want to go and I didn't want to force him he's my last baby and you know you want to spend as much time in that motherhood thing so I used to let him help me do just about everything <laughs> and one day out of the blue we weren't in the kitchen or anything and he says to me, I can't wait till I get big. And my why? He says, so I can get a knife. And I got scared. I'm like, why does my child want a knife? <laughs> but I didn't panic. I just said, why do you need a knife, honey? <laughs> and he goes, so I could help you and chop up, chop up the garlic. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank goodness. <laughs> but um, yeah, I did used to let him in the kitchen, but not a lot. And not when he got, you know, older, when he was a bigger kid. There's only one people in the kitchen. But he's a good cook. He can cook for himself. He's been away at school for 40 years. And he wasn't starving. But when he comes home, he doesn't lift a finger to cook. He wants me to cook everything for him. 
just disgusting. But I don't mind. <laughs> Until I do. Yeah, but um They all cook now. They're pretty good. Yeah. When they first went away, people used to um say to me, Oh, you didn't teach your kids how to cook. Like, you know, I don't like people in my kitchen. And the thing is, when you're hungry and you have to eat and there's no one to cook for you, you're going to learn how to cook because you're not going to want to eat nasty food. You're going to learn to cook what you like. And that's what happened. So I don't feel bad. <laughs> mm. Why do you like these glasses? With you? I bought these as a joke, and um, I left my glasses at a friend's house, my real sunglasses. This was like three, four years ago. I never got them back. It was three years ago, so I think it was 2017. Yeah. And they refused to give them back. It's terrible. So now, I'm forced to wear these. But then I found out a few months ago, right before this whole lockdown thing, these are like knockoff, um, knockoff designer glasses. I saw a girl with a real pair on. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I forgot what the difference is, but. I'm going to get a quick glance. People think I have on designer glasses. Not that I really care. <laughs> mm. I'm stuffed. I think I made a little bit too much, but that's okay. Because I could save it for dinner. <laughs> no, I'm not going to eat this for dinner. I'm going to eat real food. And hopefully I'll get to use one of my... Um, new gadgets. If I do, I'll film it and let you see what it is. So, I'm off to fight with the postal workers. And I'm going to count my blessings. And I'm going to try to be a blessing. <laughs> I really am. I don't know how I'm going to do with that one today. But um, I'm going to be kind to myself. Just in case they aren't. Like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the notification bells, bell. Why do I keep saying bell? Oh my gosh, somebody coming after me. Hit the notification bell so that you know when I post a new video. And um, just have a good day. Until next time. <laughs>